It's incredible. My first uh, flight was on the space shuttle, short duration flight to build this space station. Second one was a long duration, six months or five and a half months. And now I have another five months, four and a half, five months up here in station. There is a U.S. laboratory, Japanese laboratory, and a European laboratory. There are many places where we have facilities where we can conduct science, and each one of these modules is dedicated to a special branch of science. We have a bio lab dedicated to biology. Then we have the European physiology module. Then we have the human research facility. We can do metallurgy, we can do all sorts of science here. It's, it's really incredible. On station there can happen three major emergencies. We get hit by something, we start losing air, we can have a fire or we can have a contamination for something that is very toxic. I'm not worried. I mean, I feel prepared. I feel we have the right equipment. I feel we have the right training. Every day we have a procedure in place, we have sensors, we have all sorts of equipment here that uh, is supposed to help us in overcoming this emergency situation. Here I'll give you a little flip just as a salute just to show you what you can do in microgravity. Of course, this is a simple thing, but this help us uh, in, uh, in understanding, tell you understanding that this is a place really outside the world where the rules of gravity do not apply and, and you can do so many things. And I'm so grateful for the, to the European Space Agency, to the Italian Space Agency, to all the space agency on the world that have built this incredible laboratory. I think it's one of the assets that we have. And see you on Earth back in a few months. Ciao.